Hi guys, I'm the Cube Solver. I will be teaching you on how to solve this last two centers in a 7x7 seven seven cube. This is one of the most challenging parts in solving bigger cubes like this. You won't be in here if you haven't solved the other centers, so you must already know on how to make a center. But the struggle here is that the moves are very limited since that a cube is down to last two centers. Just a reminder, there are no exact ways on how to solve this. But I will give the techniques or the underlying concepts behind these center pieces. Let's start with the green side. I'll face the green side at the front and the red side at the top. Our goal is to complete this strip on the middle, then the strip next to it, the strip on the side, then the strip next to the middle, and this last strip. Or first, second, third, fourth, and then last. You just have to complete the three strips on one side and move forward to the other side. For the first strip, which is the middle, you just have to find the missing pieces. So this one needs two more. This one, I mean this two. Okay, you can simply bring that down. Get it out of the way so you can bring that left side back. Next, for the strip next to it, this one could be used for that because I really suggest that when you make a strip pick the one which already has a middle piece like that okay we can use this one get it out of the way and bring this right side back and the other two in here okay, that's it you can bring it down already next for the last strip in here this one already has four so you can bring it to the other side okay you can use this one in here okay just like that next for the one next to the middle the center piece is in here so you can simply bring it to the other side so you can use it okay there are two in here okay bring it up get it out of the way and bring this right side back one more for this one okay this one okay get it out of the way bring that right side back now you can insert this strip into this side align it with the same color of course just like that we're down to the last strip and here you have to count the number of center pieces we have a complete strip of red center pieces here so you can exchange that with this strip okay bring it up get it out of the way and bring this left side back if there is no practical way now to reduce the number of incorrect pieces we can solve this pieces by piece what if you have one last center corner pieces for both sides like this one just place the center pieces where they are nearest to each other the center pieces can be both on the right side, just like this, or on the left side, just like this. But I'll do it on the right side for now. So here is the process. Bring this right side up, turn the top side clockwise, and bring this right side back. Now we can exchange this complete green strip to this complete red strip at the top. Bring it up, get it out of the way, and bring this right side back. Now if you were down with this center edge pieces, place both of these pieces on the right, just like this. And here is the process. Bring this right side down. Turn the front side counterclockwise. If the red strip in here lacks one red center piece, then bring this strip down, this strip at the top, and you should see a letter T. Then turn the front side clockwise. Then if you see a complete strip on the right, bring that up and you should see that another strip is completed and then turn the front side counterclockwise and just bring this layer back what if there are more than one center edge pieces to solve actually we can solve it all at the same time almost the same process but remember that they should look the same just like this and place both of this on the right side bring this right side down turn the front side counterclockwise if the red strip in here lacks red center pieces, in this case, there are more than one, then bring both of these down. 
It doesn't always have to look like this since that it depends on the pieces you are solving. Then turn the front side clockwise. If you see a complete strip on the right, bring that up and you should see that another strips are completed. Front side counterclockwise and just bring the strips back. Now I'll show you a complete sample solve. Okay, let's start with this middle layer in here. Could be completed by this one. Okay, just like that. Now the strip next to it. Okay, this one, we could use that. Okay, bring that down. Now for the last strip on this side, okay, we can bring this three green center pieces out. We only need one more. Okay, this one. Okay, just like that. We can insert that, bring it down, get it out of the way, and bring this right side back. Now for the layer in here, for the strip in here, we could use this one because it already has a middle piece. We can insert this out of the way, bring that back. This one as well. You can also insert this one. For the last piece, I think we can use one of this but you can do that if they are on the same side so we have to get this strip out of the way and then reorient this one okay okay that's it we can now insert this piece in here okay get it out of the way so we can bring this right side back now we can insert this strip into the green side okay get it out of the way and we can bring this side back now we're down to this last strip now let's count the center pieces three reds also three reds in here so i don't think that there is a practical way to do it but i see one way because you when you bring this left side back it'll be much with this too and you can bring it down so now we're down to two last center pieces we can now do it for the corner piece, okay, bring this right side up, turn the top side clockwise, bring this right side down. Now we can exchange this red strip with this green strip in here. Bring it up, get it out of the way, and bring this right side back. Now we're down with this last center edge piece. Okay, let's do the process. Bring this right side down, turn the front face counterclockwise. Now to complete the strip in here, bring down a complete strip from the top and then when you see a letter T, turn the front face clockwise and then when you see that the strip in here is completed, bring that up and you should see that another strip will be completed and then turn the front face counterclockwise and bring this strip back to the top and now you're done. That's it. I just showed you some steps that you can do to solve some situations that you might encounter in this cube. That's it, we're done. If you manage to solve it, leave a like in this tutorial, tell your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to click the subscribe button. Thank you for watching.